So what's the purpose of Strip Chart 5? Basically, it's to provide a, a very sophisticated way to visualize data in a programmable logic controller. So PLCs are used to control all sorts of uh, complex equipment and uh, many different types of applications. My frame of reference is uh, gas turbines and gas compressors in the energy industry. And uh, basically what you're trying to do is uh, look at the different instruments and control loops and uh, look for instabilities or uh, noise, uh, basically evaluate uh, how the machine is running. In the old days, uh, we used the values that we would just watch in the programmable logic controller, either in the data tables as shown here, or in the uh, logic itself. So it was a pretty crude way of visualizing the data and uh, really uh, not a nice graph in time. Other way we'd visualize the data was using uh, an HMI, Human Machine Interface, that would typically show uh, more data uh, at the same time and the graphical layout and so on, but uh, still hard to use for uh, uh, seeing how fast things are changing or uh, evaluating stability problems. So it's nice to have some sort of a graphing tool to show the values of the data in time. So some um, ladder logic editors or con control logic edit editors, uh, whether it's ladder or otherwise, have a built-in trending tool like um, this Logix Designer software does. So I've um, just created a very simple trend, uh, two different variables, and uh, you can see the variables changing in time. So it is useful, but it's a really crude uh, plotting tool and uh, not very user-friendly to configure. So uh, strip chart. I developed that program uh, originally back around in 1997 when we were working on uh, DOS uh, uh, type of machines, uh, really old school stuff. And to be able to trend the data back then was uh, just groundbreaking. It was uh, very, very helpful. I've actually been working on strip chart programs uh, ever since, and this is my latest version. The prior version was called Strip Chart OPC, and uh, now Strip Chart 5. Why? Because it does more than just OPC. It'll read directly from a Logix processor over an Ethernet connection, and that's what I'm going to demonstrate here. So I'll select a data type of uh, Logix, and I'll browse. I enter the IP address to the PLC that is on my, on my home network, and browse items, and it shows me all the variables in the PLC. So I look at some program scope variables, and uh, I will drag and drop the first variable, or I can double click to add it to the next uh, open uh, pen, and then I can start sampling and visualize the data in a plot. So uh, really useful. Uh, see how things are changing in time but this is uh, quite a simple example. So let's look at uh, something a little bit more realistic. So in this setup, I've got a number of different groups with lots of pens in each group. So I can uh, make the setup table a little uh, simpler to look at. And I also have multiple plots uh, for different categories. So let's look at this light off plot. So this is a gas turbine engine um, starting. I'm going to zoom in in the horizontal direction, and so it shows me where I'm at in the grand scheme of the data. I can uh, manipulate that with these drag bars or move the whole zoom around. I'm going to clear the data outside of that uh, section of time, and then I'm going to place some cursors. So I can move these cursors around the plot, and it shows the values of the blue and the red and their difference. Uh, the time at each cursor and the change, the difference in time. Uh, so, as you can see, it's a lot more sophisticated way of looking at the data than available in that uh, trend program uh, built into the designer, the Logix designer. So, I hope this is a really useful tool for uh, sophisticated data analysis of any kind of a PLC with an OPC server or. Um, Logix processors from Alan Bradley with an Ethernet connection where you don't have to buy anything more than uh, this software. Also, it can do uh, Modbus TCP uh, reads. Thank you very much.